Good afternoon, folks. This is Pastor John Silbert of Covenant Presbyterian Church, and I'm coming to you from my home in Zelianople. This is our midweek prayers from the pastor's porch. And uh, so I'd like to begin with some announcements uh, for you. We're glad you're here with us today. You will, most of you will receive an email blast from us if we have your email that is announcing, regrettably, our continued closure of our building because of all of the mitigation efforts being expended uh, really nationwide, not only in Butler County, but nationwide uh, in this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So we will be closed through Monday, Memorial Day, May 25th. Our hope is that we will be able to join together in worship in our sanctuary on May 31st at 10 a.m. Note the time change. That's our new summer season, believe it or not. Uh, so we're hoping that we can be back together again in the building on May 31st, but we unfortunately will keep things closed as we have these weeks into uh, uh, Monday through Monday, May 25th. Also want to make sure that you are able to log in and listen to all those musical moments that are happening every day. We're thankful to Austin Cornelius and to the many different musicians in uh, the Covenant family who have been able to provide uh, those music moments. They're just a lovely, inspirational way to engage you in your day, uh, day by day. So be looking for those and, and log into them. Also, give us comments about them and, and an affirming word uh, or an encouragement, uh, because that's always a helpful thing, I think, uh, especially for all those who are uh, providing the music. So we're thankful for that. You can be seeing me here, obviously, now uh, into the future here on Wednesdays for the midweek prayers from Pastor's Sports. We're going to make that a regular segment. We're also working on something special for Holy Week uh, as we enter into that next week. Uh, probably a segment somewhat like this, but probably geared for Maundy Thursday uh, or Good Friday. So be looking for that, uh, and we will certainly announce it via our email list. The other thing that we want to mention is uh, the flower schedule. We are still intending, all of those of you who ordered flowers, to distribute those flowers to you on uh, Saturday, April 11th. What we're going to do is uh, be, have someone there to literally pass the flowers to you, drive up uh, by the blue door entrance, the ramp entrance of Covenant Church on East Newcastle Street, and uh, someone will be there to get your order, give it to you so that you can be on your way. Uh, and uh, we uh, will give you some more details about that as we go along. Well, those are my announcements for the day. Let's uh, be in a spirit of worship as we uh, follow the services for midday prayer. And this is the typical service for midday prayer. Let's be in a time of worship. Our help is in the name of the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I have a hymn that uh, some of you may be familiar with. It is from a resource called Sing to Faith. And this was one of the uh, songs that was put in it. It is a 
musical take on Psalm 42, verse 1. And guess what? That's going to be our psalm for the day, right after this psalm. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. As the deer. Let's read Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so my soul longs for you, O God. I thirst for God, for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things. How I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God with shouts of thanksgiving among those keeping festivals. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to the one who is my help and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the peak of Mizar, among the heights of Hermon. One deep calls to another in the roar of your cascades. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants loving kindness in the daytime. In the night season, the Lord's song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, Why have you rejected me? And why do I wander in such gloom while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me and say to me, Where now is your God? Are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? Why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to the one who is my help and my God. Psalm 42, the word of the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, never failing fountain of life, through the saving waters of baptism, you call us from the depth of sin to the abundance of mercy. Do not forget the trials of our exile, but from the wellspring of your word, satisfy our thirst for you, that we may come rejoicing to your house. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now, I'd like to read 
a passage from the New Testament, from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. The letter to the Philippians is one long thank you note. He is thanking them, certainly for being who they are in Christ there in Philippi, but he's also thanking them for a gift that they sent uh, to assist and help the saints in Jerusalem. And so Paul is writing on any number of subjects, but here he is commending them and exhorting them to rejoice. Even in the midst of times where things are good and sometimes things aren't so good. The slope goes up and then it sometimes goes down. But in all these things, uh, the Lord is with him and with them. Listen to these words from Philippians chapter 4. I'm going to start at verse 8 and go through uh, verse 13. Paul writes, Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence and if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned for me, but had no opportunity to show it. Not that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and I know what it is to have plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and going hungry, of having plenty and being of in need. I can do all things through him, through Christ, who strengthens me. Holy wisdom, holy word. As we go to prayer, I'd like to read a prayer for you today. My sister, D.A., sent this book to me, A Diary of Private Prayer, by John Bailey. John Bailey was a Scottish pastor. At one point in his life, he was the gen he was the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, and at one point was the president of the World Council of Churches, way back in 1954. But he had a marvelous way of praying, and his prayers have been collected. Uh, and this edition, the one DA sent to me, is an updated version where some of the these and the thous have been replaced by yous. Uh, and, um, well, anyway, it's a great book of prayers. So I'm going to pray this prayer, and I'm going to conclude with the verse prayer that is in the service for midday prayer uh, as we go on in this little service. Let's pray. Almighty God, you are always present in the world around me, in my spirit within me, and in the unseen world beyond me. Let me carry with me through this day's life a most real sense of your power and glory. O oh God around me. Forbid that I should look at the work of your hands today and give no thought to you, the Maker. Let the heavens declare your glory to me and the hills speak of your majesty. Let every fleeting loveliness I see speak to me 
of a loveliness that does not fade. Let the beauty of the earth be to me a sacrament which makes real the beauty of holiness revealed in Jesus Christ my Lord. O oh God within me, give me grace today to recognize the stirrings of your spirit within my soul and to listen most attentively to all that you have to say to me. Do not let the noises of this world so confuse me that I cannot hear you speak. Help me never to deceive myself about the meaning of your commands, and so help me in all things to obey your will, through the grace of Jesus Christ my Lord. O oh God beyond me, you dwell in unapproachable light. Teach me that even my highest thoughts of you are but a dim and distant shadow of your transcendent glory. Teach me that if you are in nature, you are still greater than nature. Teach me that if you are in my heart, you are still greater than my heart. Let my soul rejoice in your mysterious greatness. Let me take refuge in the thought that you are utterly beyond me, beyond the sweep of my imagination, beyond the comprehension of my mind. Your judgments are unsearchable and your ways past finding out. O oh Lord, hallowed be your name. And in this concluding prayer, eternal God, your hand shaped our lives by grace and your hand rescued us from sin by love. May your hand guide us through this day, shielding us from all evil, strengthening us to do justice and love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all oh, God's benefits. Amen. Oh, don't forget, at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., we are praying for the churches of Butler and for all the people that are involved working so hard to mitigate this pandemic and all the works that are being done, all the ministry that's being done. Uh, in our community. We thank you for your prayers here at Covenant Presbyterian Church, and we extend ourselves to you, uh, even if it has to be through the digital means that are available to us, but we're grateful for that. And so, the God of peace be with us all. Amen? Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Take care.